Project Tiger Moth, Michael Angelus impression. One morning, Toby the tram engine was feeling glum. It had been some time since he had taken any passengers with Henrietta. All he could do was sit and watch the other engines busily work away in the yards. Just then, Gordon puffed in to take on water. Oh, hello, Gordon," said Toby. "Are you pulling the express today? Who else but me?" huffed Gordon. You're lucky to always have passengers," said Toby sadly. "Henrietta and I haven't gone this long without work since, well, not since my old tramway closed down." Then Toby remembered. It was back in the good old days," chuckled Toby. "We had our own line, hauled goods, and Henrietta was always bustling with passengers. They'd visit on holidays and always remembered our names. But then they stopped coming back. My line was closed." And the good old days were over. It would be nice to have my old tramway again," sighed Toby. "Like having my own branch line." "Pa!" snorted Gordon. "Branch lines are just useless extensions of the important main line. That's all the fat controller cares about." And he puffed rudely away. Just then, Thomas puffed in with some trucks. He saw Toby looking dismayed. "What's the matter?" asked Thomas. Oh, just missing being useful," replied Toby. "But if I could just have some work to do," Thomas smiled. "Why don't you take that train of building supplies to Percy for me?" said Thomas. "They're needed up at the worksite of the new main line extension. Then I'll be able to collect the fat controller early, and you'll have some work to do." Toby was excited, though the extension was news to him. Come on, Toby," said his driver. "We'll take Thomas's branch line to give you a nice long run." Toby was now beaming with joy. He reversed onto Thomas's train, then set off for the worksite. But as he puffed down the line, he couldn't stop thinking about what Gordon had said. The fat controller really does only care about the main line, he thought to himself. Meanwhile, Percy was fuming. Where's Thomas? I'm exhausted," he complained. "He'll be here soon," soothed his driver. "But we must remind him not to ruin the surprise." Percy was puzzled. "What surprise?" he asked. Before his driver could answer, Toby arrived. "Here are the building supplies, Percy." "Toby, what are you doing here?" Percy snapped. "I'm sorry. Thomas said I could deliver these supplies for him. Is there anything else I can do to help?" Percy eyed a long line of trucks full of scrap and tree branches. "You could take those trucks back to the yard for me," he replied. The train looked quite heavy for Toby, but he agreed. He rolled onto the special junction called the Y to change directions. He then buffered up to the heavy train and was on his way. Soon, Toby was pushing the heavy train up a big hill. He made a tremendous effort, but just as he reached the top. The weight of the trucks became too much for him. His driver shut off steam and tried to apply the brakes, but it was too late. There was worse to come. As Toby thundered towards the worksite, he saw Percy dead ahead on his track. Yikes! Toby rocketed past Percy, disappearing into some bushes near the worksite. Toby shut his eyes and braked with all his might. And at last came to a stop in front of an old station and an old shed. When Toby opened his eyes, he couldn't believe where he was. Percy pulled up behind him. "Are you all right, Toby?" he gasped. Toby was bubbling with excitement. "Percy, this is my old tramway, and look, there's my old shed. I never thought I'd see it again." Just then, Thomas arrived with some workmen and the fat controller. He spoke sternly to Toby. You should know your own strength by now, Toby. I'm sorry, sir, but I only wanted to help. I'm aware of that. Now I'm just glad to see you're safe. 
Though it's a shame you've ruined your surprise. Toby was confused. My surprise, sir. The Fat Controller smiled. Yes, Toby. Our new extension is in fact a restoration. We're restoring and connecting your tramway with the main line and Thomas's branch line. Toby grinned from buffer to buffer. He almost couldn't believe it. Oh, sir, thank you, sir, he cheered happily. When the restoration was complete, Toby and Henrietta took a special charter of friends old and new down the line on an open and run. For Toby, it seemed the good old days were here to stay. <laughs>